Hi guys, good evening, and welcome to my tournament match day one broadcast. <laughs> Today's match is between uh, Roxer and uh, who cares? Actually, I watched this live, and it was a great match. So, let's take a look at how this goes. The first round will be uh, Roxer playing Space Marines against. Uh, who cares? Chaos in the map. Uh, frozen River. Uh, I mean, Frostbite River. Starting on the left side is Chaos, opening with two heretics. Forced Labor is uh, speeding up the construction here. Power Generator, Temple. Pretty standard build, but we have three cultists here. So it might be a counter harass happening. Oh, we have a Raptor Squad. On the other side, we have Roxer. One squad of scouts is already across the river. I am expecting a harass incoming. Scouts it will be a, a bad matchup for uh, Space Marine if he does not harass in early game. This matchup is pretty much uh, left to the Space Marine to uh, take the initiative. If they don't attack in early game like this, they will lose because the chaos economy is so fast and okay right here raptor flew away and now we have a double double harass situation where the scouts are trying to hunt down the heretics basically trying to kill them as fast as much as possible to cripple down uh, or slow down the chaos economy in early game so they can't build up one heretic is about to die here and the second one is also about to die, but meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Raptor has arrived, and this squad of uh, scout has to cancel capture immediately, and that's one D capture. And it looks like the heretics has died. I have to slow down this game, but maybe not. And look at this, he has D cap and cancel another capture. Thirty-eight ten economy. It's very bad for Space Marine. Thirty-two now. Let's see how it goes. 50-10 for Chaos. Even though the scout is still alive and trying to kill off as many heretics as possible, they cannot decap anything. Therefore, they cannot slow it down. And this heretic is still building up. In crazy intense mic microing here. And another decapture. Even though Raptors are taking casualty. They're doing a lot of damage. Right now it's 32-10. It's very, very bad for Space Marine. They have to recover this economy quickly. <laughs> it's literally highway to the danger zone right now. Meanwhile, the scouts have done a lot of damage, but could not slow down the chaos economy. 56-10. Still much better than the Space Marine. <laughs> and then a cancelled capture, and the scout is going to die. way way ahead it should have changed to range stance he could have killed the scout it's a minor mi mistake meanwhile uh, scout is still trying to harass and inflict some damage 62 10 for chaos let's see how it goes for the space marine 38 10 that's pretty bad it's going to be very very difficult for Roxford to recover from this loss he is starting far far behind and chaos is already have enough resource to go to tier 2 if he does not build an army Rockstar still wants to inflict casualty here but this heretic is well protected and the scouts finally gives up Chaos Lord is out and he'll be able to shoot down this annoying scouts once and for all and finally the raptors are dead God, that is crazy, crazy harass. Four minutes of intense action. And I think Chaos is way ahead right now. 56-10, 74-10, on the way to tier 2. Good situation for Chaos here. If he takes over the map, which I think he will. Only one squad of scout, uh, scouts, a squad of uh, Space Marine. 
is in active duty right now. The rest is trying to capture. Still enough time to recover economy if uh, Space Marine can play defensively right now, but I don't think they can catch up. Already at 37%. The army of the Chaos is in a stronger position right now. This game is Chaos to lose. Space Marine hits a tier 2 button as well, but a little bit behind. And this is a problem, because I believe Chaos Marine has the advantage in tier 2. Because the moment they hit tier 2, they can deploy a sorcerer. And that adds a lot of punch with uh, Chaos Bolts. And the much more expensive option of uh, Chaplain can help the Space Marine as well, but they don't really have the resource to spend. Decapture a relic here. Adding further uh, damage to already struggling Space Marine economy. This engagement right here is uh, chaos to lose. Look at this. This LP2 is too far out of range. Space Marine need to retreat a little bit further back. And uh, they're losing ground. They basically lost all their all the outer income here. Chaos Force to retreat. 8610 is not bad. Chaos is as well 8610, but already in tier 2 with Sacrificial Circle up. Equal income, and I think I just heard a, a dead heretic. Meanwhile, uh, Roxer goes for Chaplain and uh, Sacred Artifact for Librarian. Yes, most can afford the Librarian and the Grey Knights perhaps, Scarcely. but he has not gotten his armor yet, so that's another income. Drain and just one generator. It's gonna come down to one engagement, I think, to settle this. And I think Roxor cannot afford a loss, even though he has to be on defensive. Researching uh, Chains of Torment, basically a Sorcerer specialty, Chains of Torment and the Sorcerer's Bolt. Horror Squad on the way, but population is full. He needs to research the Chaos Population, wait, he just deleted his cultist. My god, <laughs> this man, what is he doing? Uh... He just killed another squad of cultists before he's finished capturing this critical location. I have no idea what he's thinking. He could have triggered a countdown by capping these two points. <laughs> I do not understand this, but heavy bolters are added to these two squads and champions soon. Sorcerer, Chaos Lord, and Torn Berserkers as well as a... The demon in horror squad is coming soon. Scouts in position. Meanwhile, Roxor has two squads of plasma scouts. Chaplain, force, uh, force commander, and a uh, small squad of grey knights. Will they succeed in repelling this assault? Let us watch. Exciting match here. It's all or nothing. Amazingly, this grey knight squad is not dying fast enough. And wow, I think the corn berserker just bit the dust. Look at that, it's so fast. And Chaos Marine is going in. Plasma Scouts is proving very, very effective here. I think they just wiped out the corn berserker with Plasma Scouts. Never underestimated. But LP2 is down. 6830 economy now, and Rockstar is in no situation to rebuild. No sign of the Librarian yet. He did not overwatch the Librarian, trying his best to defend with just this squad of Grey Knights. And it looks like it's working quite well. The Chaos Space Marine is still equipped to handle these kind of melee power, and this horror squad is about to get wiped by the Chaplain. Lots and lots of damage against demons. Sorcerer is having to carry... <laughs> The fight himself. It seems like the Chaos uh, Lord has died. 92 turn economy though. He can still recover. Has to retreat now. He's lost his engagement. 
Even though he tried to wipe out the squad of scouts, but... Assault Space Marines. I'm not sure about that. At this point, the Grey Knight is, should be sufficient enough. And he should just start adding a tactical Space Marine. Maybe he wants to counter the Corn Berserkers, but I don't see any Corn Berserkers here. Who cares? Adds another Corn Berserker squad here. Might be the right call to get the squad of uh, Assault Marine here. I think right now, Chaos is back to the wall. No sign of the Chaos uh, Lord. Heretic's out of position to repair, but LP2 is on the way. He's about to complete just in time. A charge was called. Chains of Torment, though. Shuts down the Grey Knights completely. Cannot do any damage. Assault Marine counters the Heavy Bolter. These two heroes will probably wipe out these Corn Berserkers handily, but this LP2 is dealing serious damage here. Chaos Space Marine, Overwatch. Corn Berserker as well, Overwatch. Meanwhile, half the <laughs> base facility is paralyzed. Point Blank Sorcerer Doom Bolts nearly wiped out the Assault Squad. But we still have the Grey Knight Squad here. Assault Marine still can go in. Tie down this Heavy Bolter Squad, but gets uh, harassed. Get, takes too much damage, has to retreat 30 hit points, maybe has to capture something just to recover a bit. No sign of reinforcement from Space Marine. It's just two squads bashing each other here with two heroes. Let's switch side a bit. These two heroes are now hitting the LP2 instead of wiping out these uh, Corn Berserker squad. I think this is a bad mistake by Rockstar though. Because right now one of the squad is going to be free enough to do the heavy bolter. Nope, just shooting shooting down at the Grey Knights. If the Grey Knights gets killed, it's over. LP2 at 20%, still no sign of heretics being summoned to repair. Chaos Sorcerer trying their best. Yes, Librarian is complete but he's far far away from the action, still across the river. Too late to assist in the situation. Assault Marine as well. And no, Space Marine has completely lost this engagement. <laughs> Rockstar says Kurva. Both sides really lost their focus here. You can see this by the way the heretics came after the action is over. Had he come earlier, that would probably snap some sanity back to the there Space Marine's uh, commander. And, and right now, Space Marine is going T3. Unbelievable. The cost is too high and his army is too weak to afford this kind of option. Should really rebuild his uh, chaplain and force commander and Grey Knights perhaps and upgrade uh, his heroes and he might be able to stop them. But right now I don't think he'll be able to stop them with just this army. We have a uh, Chaos Lord fighting Librarian <laughs> and Assault Space Marine. But we should have a demon coming up soon. There's no way Chaos has no spare income after this. Yes. Horror is coming up. A second squad of Horror Berserker is coming up. Roxer is gambling on tier 3 to save him here, but I don't think he'll be able to. It's uh, it's just not possible. I I just can't see it happening. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit far. It's too far. By the time he's got tier 3, all his army, existing army, is already rendered useless. Okay, look at this. This army can level this barracks before tier 3 is complete. Grey Knight's out, but it's completely outnumbered. Nope, can't stop them. Tier 3 complete, has the resources, snap down, uh, slap down an orbital relay. But Psychic Inquisition was called. But is Grey Knight still alive? I don't think so and the Psychic in Inquisition was cancelled. Horrors are destroying this chapel barracks. It's a valiant effort, but they're not gonna make it. Terminator, the Assault Terminator was, uh, was too slow. <coughs> it's too slow. Way, way too slow. And Roxor has to concede this one. There's no coming back from there. It's an all or nothing. GG was called. It was a nice try, but it wasn't to be. 
as you can see, these two deleted cultist squad basically spelled the end of the map capping. <laughs> I don't know why he did that. It was completely unnecessary. Anyway, let's take a look at the post-game screen. I think both sides inflicted, inflicted plenty of casualty, but let's see the military side. Yep, rocks are killed more. No surprise. Cultists, Space Marines uh, probably defended more often than uh, Chaos Marine, but that LP2 engagement costed the Space Marine a victory, I feel. Resource-wise, no surprise. Chaos is way ahead after that early harassment payoff. Technology-wise, yeah, that tier 3 was a mistake, I feel. Should have rebuilt its army. It's it's not like you have forced labor to speed up the, the constructions. There's no way that Space Marine Tier 3 gonna pay off. If he had gotten uh, the two heroes back up, the result would have been quite different. Anyway, Roxer is now down one game, has to win the next game as his secondary uh, race, which is quite a tall order, I feel. But let's take a look as he takes on who cares Eldar in the map Boon Base. This is a very small map, so and low economy, so maybe he wants to make sure the Eldar is starved of uh, resources. Eldar going for standard build, aspect portal, and uh, power generator. Roxfer goes for standard build as well. Two sluggers. The boys hut and generator. Goes for two sluggers. I got a wrong prediction. And... Banshee Aspect Stone. Alright. So Eldar has two options. Mm, perhaps it would be more accurate to say four. He can go for Farseer first. Or Banshee. A melee unit. Or Dark Reapers. Or Rangers. Banshee is a pretty good melee. Can beat down the uh, Shooter Boys and uh, Sluggers. But let's see how the Orcs go. Can counter it. You can probably take the map with the Howling Banshee squad, but there's not much of a map to take here because Moonbase doesn't even have a relic. Has three critical locations to contest and uh, the rest is just strategic locations all across the map. First squad of Howling Banshees out, standing guard instead of capping. And... Uh, Wow, he did not finish his power generator. <laughs> I think we should tell him. <laughs> what are you doing, Roxer? <laughs> what a shame. He realized it way, way late. 56-0. Meanwhile, Eldar is 50-10. Second gener generator should be on the way right now. You can spare the men. Both singers are really, really cheap. You can just get another one and just slap a generator. Right? The other two makes their way to this point. Uh, a little bit of slip in micro, perhaps. Oh, he wants to finish this uh, one and then teleport over, I think. First contact here. First uh, two squads of uh, Banshee against one Slugger, one Shooter Boys, one Big Mac. And Guardian is still trying to capture. Cancel the capture correctly. Fleet of foot and runs. I don't know why is he running. <laughs> he wants to involve this Bone Singer perhaps? You see, Eldar has a problem with Micro. There's a lot of options here. You see them glowing, that means they're moving faster. But they are not accurate at all. They cannot shoot properly. He will finish this uh, listening post in time. No threat at all. Floating a little bit on the uh, generator. Has to reinforce. Gets an LP2 upgrade underway. This Bone Singer can actually just teleport and tie up the Shooter Boys as well. And I'm not joking. It's a legit strategy. It's a very legitimate strategy. 
7420 economy right now and uh, a little bit of casualty on Banshee, but they can take it. They can take it. Take it. This this tier zero uh, orc army is a little bit weak. He should teleport out. Lost a little bit. Uh, Slugger boys. I think. Yeah, no lasting damage. Some casualty, but I think it's a win for Eldar right now. They take this critical location for sure. Or uh, the Big Mac lost 200 hit points. Should be able to recover. Gets LP one here. 80-20 economy for Eldar can go tier 2 right now, Soul Shrine. There are two different ways to go LP2, uh, I mean tier 2. Either you hit the research at your hit headquarters, or like Eldar, you build structures. Orcs has to go for WA banners. WA banners adds like a 10 population per banner. So you can see here, if he hits 50, that means he's in tier 2. 35 means he can get Storm Boys, which he does right away. Still not enough, I think. Two Shooter Boys and one Slugger against uh, two Banshees and two Guardian. I think it's still an even match. Still not enough firepower to threaten. No pile of guns either, so the army is still essentially unupgraded. Once Eldar hits tier 2, it's gonna be a flip of, of the advantage. The advantage will be Eldar's, because once they get the Call of War, things are gonna get bloody in melee. Right now, Countdown has been triggered, because it takes more, uh, takes control of more critical location, and I think the Soul Shrine is about to be completed. Eldar is in tier 2, and Orc has to take action right now. Because once they start glowing blue, that means uh, the Howling Banshee has become more powerful, more damage, more hit points. FOF, Fleet of Foot activated. They has they have to disengage right now. <laughs> and this is perfect. Baits the orcs to go in. Rockstar is still running a tier zero army, and uh, fifty percent at Call of War research. And uh, Farseer is on the way to help with engagement. Rockstar still ninety two twenty economy. Pile of guns on the way. Still far behind in upgrade. He should not engage right now. <clears throat> the visual cues should be up shortly. Just just capture this location if you can, but if you get engaged, all right, there they go. It's glowing blue, but economy is still bad, 80-20. Farseer is here, and Eldar will engage right now. Advantage Eldar. Rockstar, upon seeing this, should just back off. There is no way he can stop this, this retreat. This, oh no, this is bad, see? Look at that. The howl of the Banshees inflicts morale damage. Has to retreat, and look at that, Mind War cast takes a lot of damage. This Big Mac should teleport way, way earlier. I'm not sure why Rockstar is saving time. After losing 800 hit points, teleport. Get out of there. Alright. That's a lot of hit points lost for nothing, but Pile of Guns is up. 80% to Heavy Boy Armor. Look at this hit points. It's gonna jump up drastically. There we go. 1,000 hit points from clicking one button. And this LP2 will fall if nothing is done. Back to engagement now. Eldar wants to take advantage, but where's the Fire Dragon? There it is. Fire Dragon is one of the best anti-vehicle of anti-structure uh, range unit wants to stop this gets the heavy bolter i mean big shooters but only one squad of uh, shooter boys easily can taken uh two squads is easily cancelled away by this uh howling bounce banshees i think they have three squads here and rockster is in deep trouble now storm boy squad can occupy their attention a bit but you're gonna need more than that Yeah, one Harlequin. That's the missing key here. One Harlequin can absolutely turn this fight around. All Eldar has to do is just build one Harlequin and the, do the Dance of Death in the middle of that mass of Orc. And that's there's nothing the Storm Boys can do. They will get knocked around, butchered, slaughtered, and killed mercilessly. 9230 economy is still very low and he gets a Wraith Lord aspect. 
in interesting. Uh, the Wraith Lord is probably a walker unit, one of the best walker in the game. Basically moves pretty quickly and has a anti armor. Bright Lands is also great. Can shoot while, while on the move. Meanwhile, uh, this this attack will not work. It's just too weak. Eldar should have gone for Falcons, I feel. Uh, this, this Wraith Lord is just too expensive. Meanwhile, uh, Roxer, 8620 economy is not so great. And I think he's adding... Ah. Custom Jagged is great. Can stun vehicles, but look at this. Another Howling, howling Banshee cast. Okay. What can Orcs do in this situation? He has knobs. Knobs are good. Very, very thick hit points. Look at this. 8,600. And this Farseer could have died. But the knobs left her alone. I don't get it. <laughs> that's that's just strange. Fire Dragon's attempting to sneak. Does Roxer notice it? Did he see it? He should. Decapture. Yeah, get spotted. I, I think Roxer knows. Orcs going in. Why is he going in with a shooter boy squad? <laughs> Should have just rebuilt his uh, slugger squad and attach it to the big mech. Fire dragons. Yeah, I was waiting for the fire dragons to take action because they're occupi occupying all the attention of the orcs here. And here comes the fire dragons. This is his chance. Yep. Does Oxor see sees this? Yep, he does. Storm boys jumping back immediately. Another squad of Howling Banshee is trained. You know, I think Eldar should have gone for... Oh, what is this? Mega Armor Knobs. Mans. Yeah, this this Fire Dragon should pull out, but I think... Yo, Wraith Lord on the scene. Still no sign of Arlequin. I feel like Eldar has a chance of finishing this if they just went Arlequin. But it looks like right now they just want the uh, mass banshees and uh, with the support of Farseer and Wraithlord, which I don't think will work out. This this mega armor knobs and knobs are just too strong. Has to retreat. They just don't have enough punch. And tank buster squad added just to counter the Wraithlord, but I don't think uh, the stun is too far out of range, which is why I feel like he should really attach the Big Mac to the knob squad and teleport the knob squad to the back of this squad to prevent them from retreating. Another engagement here right at the LP2 and uh, Falcon Graph Tank. I think or Orcs can win this if they're just more... Uh... Mm. I really am s s confused by this battle. Is the stun being used? I don't think the custom jacket was used at all. Mind War cast, and I think Orcs uh, Big Mac might die here. No, survive. Knobs and Mega Armor Knobs are doing work here, and Falcon Graph Tank has to retreat. Um, where's the tank busters? Did they get killed? Oh, gee, I did not even realize that. We went too aggressive on the Wraith Lord. And Wraith Lord survive. So yeah, this is bad. And um Bone Singers are absent. You know, the crazy thing about Bone Singer is that they're so cheap. If you just teleport in, they can repair in battle without anyone noticing. And right now, I'm commenting that Eldar is basically bankrupt here. A floating heart and power. When you're having this kind of situation, you should just hit the tier 2 uh, economy. 75 250 to improve your uh, income better <laughs> and somehow falcon grab tank survive i hope uh, roxer gets uh, another squad of tank busters oh look at that all the big shooters are dead mega armor knobs wounded they should retreat now they should really retreat yeah three squads of howling banshees so durable so hard to kill yep 
No warp spiders, it's too expensive. He doesn't have the eco. And orcs, they completely forgot about the economy. Both players really neglecting their economy right now. It's too... I understand that priority is to reinforce your army, but this is just not sustainable. <laughs> if you don't even have enough resource for big shooters and the uh, big mech is dead so no more free stuns and vehicles oh no they're not ready that you can't engage like this come on what the orcs could do is get tank busters you know tank busters can infiltrate themselves and right now Eldar has zero detectors this this graph tank is doing a lot of work Mega armor knobs. Jesus, look at this endless melee situation, and no tank busters to counter this. There's no income. Falcon Graf tank might manage to escape with five percent hit points. Will still get destroyed. Yes, but it's repairing this uh, way for it. See, how the fuck are you going to? Notice this little guy fixing this Wraith Lord in the middle of all this mass. <laughs> but it looks like the Howling Banshee is getting slaughtered but being overwatched constantly. It's both sides basically just burning requisition at insane rate. But I feel like the Eldar is fighting well here because they're constantly repairing and they have LP2. What Rockstar should have done is just improve his stagnant economy, recapture these two lost points, get another additional 12 points <laughs> yep. the howling banshees are really really hard to kill they reinforce too fast and they have a lot of hit points and we're not even talking arlequins they're completely absent in this fight and no Orcs can't hold on. This this is this is insane. This is like suicide. What they should do is stop this Overwatch right now. Go back to your base. Let the guns do the work, and recover the economy. But right now it's too late. There's no tank busters to stop this uh, Wraith Lord from blowing up this LP2. Oh, changes his mind. I think he'll go for the Wa Banner. Now it's the Eldar turn to fight under the Wa Banners and all the LP2s. Will it work? No, I don't think so. No repairs. And Vipers? Yeah, Vipers on the way. Yeah, Roxer is not reacting. It looks like this is over. Calls GG. Oh no, that's me saying GG. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's over. I mean, what do you want to say? At this point, look at this. Economy finally 111.39 is way, way better than it works. Which is struggling at 79-20. And Rockstar, the previous champ, has lost his first game 2-0. Can you believe that? Defies all prediction. <laughs> well, thanks buddy, you threw me to the other group. <laughs> and uh, who cares? Managed to beat the orcs in their own melee game. With Wraith Lords. Three Howling Banshee squad, a Viper, and some Falcon Graf tanks. Not a single Dark Reaper, mind you, and Farseer. Good game, and Roxer has to be quite frustrated. Lots of kills by the Eldars, and resource-wise, Eldar is ahead. Although it's it's, <laughs> it's not much, not by much. He really hits the tier two economy quite late, and that's that really impacts him. But technology-wise, he's way ahead, of course way way ahead and I hope you guys enjoy that what a shock result closely contested first game and second one is what a slugfest I have never seen that many melee situation before and let's hope for a much much better game the next day thank you for watching and have a nice night